Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the integral e to the power of x cosine of x dx. We're going to use integration by parts, and as you can see, we have e to the power of x, which is the exponent, and then we have the cosine, which is trigonometry. So whichever one is at the top will be the u, and whichever one is below will be the v. So u is equal to cosine of x, what is the derivative of cosine? That's negative sine of x. And then multiply both sides by dx, we get du is equal to negative sine of x times dx. Now, if it helps, let me rewrite this integral so it's easier to look at. We have cosine of x times e to the power of x dx. And so far, we know that this part is the u. We have the u part down. So this part is going to be the dv. So this means dv is equal to e to the power of x dx. And v is the integral of that. So the integral of e to the power of x dx, which is just e to the power of x plus c. Let's follow the formula. We have the equal sign and then u times v. u is cosine of x times v, which is e to the power of x. And we can just ignore the plus c. We don't need to write the plus c down. Then we have the minus sign and the integral of v. Again, v is e to the power of x and du. du is negative sine of x times dx. If we bring this negative sign outside the integral, then this would make this sign a positive sign. Let's write that down. So we have cosine of x times e to the power of x plus the integral of e to the power of x sine of x dx. We have to use integration by parts again. So we have e to the power of x, which is the exponent, and then we have sine of x, which is trigonometry. So here u is going to be the trigonometry part, so sine of x. Actually, let's write this as u1. u1 is equal to sine of x. What is the derivative? The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. So du1 is equal to cosine of x dx. How about dv? dv is just e to the power of x dx. So v1 is the integral of that, and as you know from before, that's just e to the power of x plus c. So the integral of e to the power of x, sine of x, dx, is equal to u times v. So u1 is sine of x times v, and v is e to the power of x minus the integral of v, and v is e to the power of x du and du is positive cosine of x dx so let's put this part into here and see how we can solve this integral so that's equal to cosine of x times e to the power of x plus sine of x times e to the power of x minus the integral of e to the power of x cosine of x dx and I'm going to show you a trick right here. The trick is to write all of the stuff that we have into one line as an equation. And you will see why this is useful. So we start with this, our original integral, e to the power of x, cosine of x, dx. And then that's equal to all of this. Equal to cosine of x times e to the power of x plus sine of x e to the power of x minus the integral of e to the power of x cosine of x dx. Here what we can do is add both sides with the integral of e to the power of x cosine of x dx. So we're going to add to both sides of the equation. And the reason why we're doing this is so that this will cancel out. All of this part will cancel out. On the left hand side, we have 2 times the integral of e to the power of x cosine of x dx 
and then we have this part so cosine of x times e to the power of x plus sine of x times e to the power of x and this will cancel out so plus zero but we don't need to write that and now all we have to do is divide both sides by two And we have cosine of x times e to the power of x plus sine of x times e to the power of x over 2. And don't forget the plus c. So there you go. This here is the answer to this integral.